Welcome back! Remember, my name is Daniel Caproni and this is Probability and Statistics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find standard deviation on GeoGebra.org. There are two major ways to do this. The first one is to use the classic calculator and the second one is going to be using the spreadsheet. Now the calculator form of it is going to be very similar to Desmos.com as well. But the spreadsheet form does allow us to get a lot of other summary statistics other than just the standard deviation. So join me now as we continue on to knock out this standard deviation using technology. All right, so here I am at GeoGebra.org. I'm going to go ahead and click Start Calculator to dive right in. Now, this calculator is the part that is very similar to Desmos. Now, they've had it around for a long time, and once it comes up, you can actually just type in functions and use them like you would a lot of other math programs. So, standard deviation. There's actually a code for that that starts with ST for standard, and then you go with the deviation, D-E-V. But as you can see, the moment I put ST and then clicked on D, and you can see that it pops right up. Now, we're going to go with this one right here, the first one that popped up. And in that list of raw data, I'm going to use a list of data I had from another video. And in that video, we actually find standard deviation using the formula the long way. If you want to check that out, go ahead and click above. But let's go ahead and put that data in. Notice it did not recognize my commas in there, so I'm going to go ahead and put each of those in now. You always want to make sure that if you're copy and pasting from different programs that you make sure it goes in properly. So I go ahead and hit enter. <laughs> Just like that, we are done. The standard deviation of that list of numbers is just going to be 3.1358 and so forth. Or if you round to two decimal places, it's going to be 3.14. So this is the GeoGebra calculator way to find standard deviation. So here we are back at the GeoGebra.org homepage, and this time we're going to use the spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on GeoGebra Classic down here. I click on GeoGebra Classic, and it takes me to the general GeoGebra calculator again. Some of you guys will have the option to click on spreadsheet right now in a pop-up window. If that does not pop up, go ahead and click on the three lines in the top right-hand corner and go down to Perspectives. Click on Perspectives, and it will bring a menu of options for you. We want the spreadsheet. Go ahead and click on Spreadsheet. Now, you should have a list of numbers that you're trying to find the standard deviation for. I'm going to use the same list we just had in the calculator form of GeoGebra. And that, again, came from a problem in a previous video. I put in all of our numbers. Now, once you have the numbers in, that's actually the hard part. So I would keep them all in the same column or the same row. And in order to highlight the whole column at the same time, don't freak out about dragging and highlighting like that. Instead, go ahead and just click the A and it will highlight everything in A. Now, how do we find the standard deviation from this point? Well, there's a few ways to do that, but the best way I think is to go ahead and hit on the histogram button and go to one variable analysis. Now, this is going to bring up a histogram of our data, but that's not actually what I want right now. But when you have the histogram pop up, in the top right-hand corner, there is an uppercase sigma with a little x. If I click on that guy, it will bring up my summary statistics right here. And you will notice that next to the S, it has 3.1358, the same standard deviation that we got when we used the calculator, and the same standard deviation we got when we used the formula by hand. So this is a second way to use GeoGebra to get our standard deviation. But also notice it has a lot of other things in here. We also get our mean, we get our population standard deviation. We get the sum of all of our numbers, the sum of the square of all of our numbers, and our five number summary. 
So doing it via the spreadsheet gives you a lot of things at once, whereas the general calculator, you'd have to do each one step by step. So this sometimes can be a lot faster if you're looking for a lot more than just the standard deviation. Well, guys, that's it. We just learned how to find standard deviation using the website geogebra.org. Now, if you'd rather use Desmos, you go for it. I'm not telling you how to live your life. You'll just mimic the first part of this video, just like how we did it on the GeoGebra calculator. Now, with that said, if you have found this helpful in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit the like button below. And if you want to keep getting videos like this, go ahead and click subscribe so you can see my new weekly videos. Again, my name's Daniel Caproni, and this has been Probability and Statistics.